Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Monday, April 13th. You can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. The Order 1886 will be adding a photo mode similar to that scene in The Last of Us Remastered and Infamous Second Son in its latest update. Activision announced today that Destiny's second expansion, House of Wolves, has finally been given a release date of May 19th and will cost $19.99 or as part of the $34.99 season pass. Provided you qualify, you can pay only $20 to purchase The Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited for Xbox One or PlayStation 4 that will also carry your progress over from the PC version. As detailed across a series of articles on ESO support website, some of the game's computer players are eligible to buy a digital copy on console for $20. To do so, you need to have purchased and registered a PC or Mac copy by no later than June 30th, 2014. In a new post on Xbox Wire, Microsoft addressed Xbox One energy consumption concerns. The blog post comes in the wake of a recent Natural Resources Defense Council report that blasted the Xbox One's instant on mode, with senior scientist Noah Horowitz calling the mode poorly designed and the system wasteful in terms of the amount of energy it uses. Microsoft writes that the Xbox One's instant on mode, which makes the console boot up quickly and allows it to download updates in the background, is a feature that fans have called for since the Xbox 360 era. Microsoft goes on to say that it has recently improved the Xbox One's power consumption by a third. The Xbox One also features an energy saving mode. The lower power mode uses less energy and can save users about $10 per month on average, but sacrifices background downloading and other features included with Instant On. During the Unite Tokyo 2015 event, Sony shared new details on the PlayStation Vita Update 3.50, noting that it allows for 30% more memory size usage with games. One would reasonably assume owners of the handheld could very well see a boost in performance when playing games. Monster Hunter Stories, a brand new spin-off set within Capcom's popular creature hunting franchise, is coming to Nintendo's handheld. Capcom unveiled this 3DS exclusive role-playing game during its Monster Hunter Fest 2015 finals. According to the series producer, Stories will offer a very different take on the series. In addition to having a much more whimsical art style, Monster Hunter Stories will put players in the shoes of a rider rather than a hunter. The game is slated for a 2016 release. And that's our news for today. Join us again tomorrow for games industry coverage as it unfolds. Good night, everyone.